And again, folks, what I would tell you to do in this environment, given that I think the next two years will be harder than the last two, is get your head right. Get your mind right. Realize mm -hmm. that opportunity comes in chaos. Where there is right. great pain, there's great opportunity. Exactly. It's your job to go seek it, to get your mind right. Keep doing the work. Look every day. Keep networking. We've got some exciting news. If you happen to be a flipper in the game, Velocity Mortgage has made some aggressive changes. They want to serve the experienced flippers. And for those out there looking to buy portfolios, we can also talk about blanket loans. We're going to, of course, have this conversation with the one and only Mr. Stephen Dow. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing great. Yourself, Mike? I'm doing well. Do me a favor. Get that marketing spiel out of the way so we can have a discussion about what's what. Thank you again. Although I work very happily for Velocity Mortgage Capital, all the ideas and topics discussed on this channel, that of my own. So let's get it going. Well, which one do you want to hit first? You want to talk blanket loans first, or you want to talk about this new and exciting program for experienced flippers? Your dealer's choice. Okay. Well, I mean, uh, I think blanket loans initially, because with the with the fix and flip or ARV Pro, it's going to be a little bit more complex. I think we're going to need a little bit more time with that. Okay. Basically, with the blanket loans, because I don't think we've talked about it in a while, so I just want to keep it kind of refreshed. I've seen actually quite, I wouldn't say a lot, but I've seen a little bit of an increase of, of interest with these types of deals. So I thought I'd just mention it again. Um, blanket loans or portfolio loans is where I could finance multiple properties at the same time under one loan. Um, so the rules of engagement are typically any combination of a one to a four unit residential non-owner occupied property. So it could be, you know, a group of duplexes plus a single family, you know, a triplex, a fourplex, all mixed in together. Um, the only other stipulation is if it's in a purchase, it all has to come from the same seller, all has to be located in the same state. And hopefully they're located specifically in cities that are, you know, densely populated. So we, we can find comps, right? Just general stuff. Otherwise, max 75% LTV, same other, you know, great aspects about no ratio, so no tax return, no peso, no W-2, no DSCR. So that's been kind of like, you know, helpful. Um, and also the 90% CLTV also applies. So technically, you get a blanket loan with putting 10% down on multiple properties. So it is te technically, you know, uh, uh, an option. You just have to find the right scenario. No, this is this stuff is coming. I want people to hear me. They're, they're, this cycle we're going through the next 18 and 24 months are going to be harder than the last couple of years. Lots of people need to get out, want to get out. Lots of old timers don't want to go through another recession. Uh, I think a blanket loan is going to play. In fact, you and I talked about a blanket loan. I was trying to buy six houses uh, here about six or nine months ago. We got in contract. Uh, we were talking about doing a blanket loan versus one at a time. Blanket loan probably would have made sense. But obviously during inspections, I found some you know no-go things. So we backed out. But blanket loans, what I'm saying is there are sellers who want one buyer. Right. And want to get out. I think I think about a 14 package deal that Olivia and I did about two years ago. Um, mm -hmm. The blanket loan is perfect. And oh, by the way, it could have been a 90 percent CLTV because the seller wanted some money. Right now. Right. A chunk. And was willing to carry. So, again, right. uh, th this is people. The tool is there. Understand. It. Agreed. Agreed. I, and I think. um uh, along with the with the blanket loan, sometimes you can maybe negotiate maybe better deal because if you're going to pick up all of his inventory instead just one or two, yeah. and I think like you said, they prefer just one you know buyer, just one and done, and just be like okay, and you might be able to negotiate slightly better pricing too. So there is you know opportunity there for at least negotiating. So um, but just worth at least a phone call or email and kind of start yeah. from there. Yeah, no, absolutely. Now, as far as the, yeah. Now, as far as on our new uh, ARV Pro or fix and flip product, basically, we're trying to attract a more you know seasoned flipper. So as of tomorrow, we're no no longer doing first time flippers. Um, just found that there's some you know added issues with that. The bars, don't, you know, they don't know. A little they don't more know, risky. So that's the a first more time. Risky. Yeah, a yeah. little bit more risk. So long story short, a more seasoned, more experienced flipper. Uh, there's tiers to this. Um, you know, one or more. Uh, it, you know. Uh, successful flips along with exits is tier three, uh, two or more is tier two, and five or more is tier one. Tier one, you're able to get up to 85% loan to cost, sometimes 90 if you oh. are, you know, pretty seasoned. So define, define um, loan to cost so people don't know that term. So, yeah, basically we would be covering about 90% of the purchase price or, or uh, let's just say 85 because 90 is more of a much more, you know, higher 85, caliber. Uh, no problem. 85, right. 
uh, we found that's pretty aggressive even in this market. But at 85 loan to cost, I would be covering 85% of your purchase price. So at least 50% down and sometimes anywhere from 85 to 100% of your rehab budget. Exactly. No, this, yeah. this is when you're thinking loan to cost, folks, it's not only the purchase, it's potentially also the remodel, the repairs, the make ready, whatever you want to call that. And that'll be done in what, two or three draws? How is that typically handled? Uh, it's it's mainly on a disbursement kind of schedule, not so much a draw. So or disbursement, sorry, um, disbursement. Right, right. No, that's okay. Um, just so that borrowers kind of understand conceptually that you're kind of getting the money after the fact, once the work's right. been done and verified, right. done up to code, then we release the money. So, uh, but yes, it's typically in about three disbursements. Yeah. Again, and but again, I think this, yeah, this is this is pretty awesome. And again, no first time flippers, a little too risky. Nope. They don't know what they don't know. Painful. Mm -hmm. Uh, yep. But again, you have tiers, right? One or more, two or more, five or more. Um, and there's a lot of people out there doing that. Hopefully you're doing it below the median. If it, you know, hopefully you're taking slumlord properties and turning them into first time home buyer homes. That would be my hope uh, for the right. audience. Um, yeah. And that again, that's who we're trying to look for. That's who we were trying to, you know, attract because again, we found that the market does want that kind of more of aggressive product, but that usually, you know, we want a more experienced borrower from that standpoint. So we do yeah. want to, you know, make it more attractive for that type of clientele to, again, um, I think we would just have a higher, you know, success rate. Because again, they know what they're doing. If they're doing it successful, successfully, then why not kind of team up with them as well as, you know, with us? Because unlimited amount of loans, that's typically where they kind of fall short. If they do find a financer that's a little bit more aggressive, where we've now taken this up to that 85, 90% loan to cost. But they usually run out of money. I mean, yeah. again, I could just go to New York Stock Exchange. I'm publicly traded. <laughs> yeah. I look at him. Look at, yeah. How many people have looked up Velocity Mortgage? They are publicly traded. This is why he's on the channel. They are not. Yes, sir. They're not some rich family who's got you know a certain set that's that's lendable, and then they wait for it to come back. This this is a this right. is a different animal that we have here with Velocity Mortgage. Yes, Mike. Yes, sir. So other than that, I mean, um, well, I got one more thing yeah, to we, talk about just because I want to. I want people to realize that the uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, he, he showed everybody how to get rich. We're talking about house hacking houses and fourplex. Mm -hmm. Good old Arnold Schwarzenegger said, screw that. I'm going to house hack a sixplex. Yep. And again, Velocity Mortgage does not do owner-occupied residential, but you mm -hmm. will do an owner-occupied six unit and above. Right. F five units and above. Five and above. Right. So... And yeah, and I remember I saw the video of Arnold talking about this lady. I want to say like a realtor lady or Asian lady. And she was like, what are you doing? You might, oh, you shouldn't do that. And he, she talked him into buying this place. And that's how he became a millionaire. That's He told yeah. that story. I saw that, like you said. So yeah, apartment hacking, basically. Yeah. And applying the 90% CLTV. You know what I mean? It, they're out there. I promise you they're out there. And if you're in the right position in life where you can, you know, yeah. kind of jump into that, that, that situation, you know, maybe – beginner investors, smaller family for, you know, bachelors, small couple, something yeah. like that. You can live in the one unit, rent out the other four. I mean, live it, like a king, you, you can got build no that shelter cost. Oh yeah. Right. Dude, if it worked for Arnold Schwarzenegger in the seventies or sixties or whenever that happened, it'll work right. today. And again, folks, what I would tell you to do in this environment, given that I think the next two years will be harder than the last two is get your head right, get your mind right. Realize mm -hmm. that opportunity comes in chaos where there's right. great pain. There's great opportunity. Exactly. It's your job to go seek it, to get your mind right. Keep doing the work. Look every day. Keep networking. Reach out mm -hmm. to Stephen Dow at Velocity Mortgage if you think you might have something so he could be your eyes, your ears, help you structure. If somebody wanted to do that, Stephen, how would they reach out? Always emails the best. That's going to be to sdao at velocitymortgage.com. In the subject line, please put the acronym O-R-A-A-T to make it past the firewall. Uh, body of the email, maybe a brief description, what you're looking for, address would really be super helpful, at least city and state to make sure I can lend there. Uh, your mid FICO score also help. And of course, best phone number to reach you at in typically 24, 48 hours. I'll be in touch. Awesome, buddy. Thank you so much.